Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Saturday, June the 11th, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on patreon.com. Um, check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, where I'm doing 20% off the conflict resolution YouTube video spread that I deliver specifically to you. It's not a canned one. It's I draw cards just for you, for your name, for your post. I deliver that back, and right now I'm usually getting about a, a 48 hour turnaround. Um, and also joining the Orlando Tarot Tribe. And to go along with our message today, the message today is this find your creative outlet. It is so worth it. So find ways to let creativity flow in and out of you and around you and through your life. And the reason I say it's, it's it, some of the other things I want to say is follow me on Snapchat if you are. That's where my creative outlet has come from. And it's interesting, Intuitive Mitch. So Intuitive Mitch is my chat, chat snap, Snapchat name. I'm still learning how to do it, but I have some characters on there that are making their appearance. Aunt Trinity and um, uh, Uncle Clem. And I'm going to say there's at least two other characters that will make an appearance sometime soon. But also, I think, like, the faces and the things change, so there will be new characters all the time. Um, but find that creative outlet. So my background is in theater. I, I was, I'm a theater major. My degree's in theater. I was an actor since I was 21 years old. I own an improv theater. So I've always had a creative outlet. My current, you know, day job career is group fitness manager, but I also teach classes. So I'm on stage with the microphone, teaching body step, where I get to improvise and be in the moment and have fun. And exercise. So I, I, I have lots of creative outlets. And it's so funny because the um, the Snapchat one, I've always wanted to do like a video like this and, and do some like silly fun characters. Um, but I also wanted to be taken serious in this world. So this is my serious world where I really deliver it. And then the Snapchat, like literally just a couple days ago, thank you, Ruthie. Ruthie Bombach, my bestest, bestest friend in the world, my non-sexual spouse. The woman that I, I've probably known the longest of any of you watching this, <laughs> the person I find known the longest. Um, no, there's a few. There might be one or two others, so I won't say that. But she, she's, she is, a, she is someone special to me. But anyway, she, she got me on Snapchat. People have tried, but she got me on, and um, yes, yeah, she created a monster. But it's been me just two days of of outlet, you know, of creative outlet, and you can feel it, especially needing it right now with a lot of um, shifts and changes and stuff going on at work. A little more serious, a little bit of stress, but um, it's it's been very nice. Hmm. I have a Lenormand card flying out. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it was. <laughs> I'm putting it back in the deck. So Lenormand, let's dive in. Cards and numbers. Today is all the numbers add up to number eight, which is self mastery, business success organization, authority, power, finances, number eight. But also today is an 11 day, so that carries with it some pretty powerful energy of that master illuminator, the inspirational messenger, the number of light, number 11, one who raises the consciousness, um, one who lifts up the world, one who inspires um, and teaches with truth. Um, so Lenormand to go along with that is going to be 12, which is the birds. This is often about siblings, about jibba jabba, talking, chirping, um, busybody, um, you know, uh, that nesting kind of a feeling. Some other key words for the birds would be um, children, immaturity, small things. No. Um, conversations, phone calls, meeting, negotiation. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Um, Twitter, you know, uh, uh, coupling, siblings, you know, negotiation. Those are all kind of the key words that I would use. Lenormand, excuse me, Tara to go along with that is going to be the tower. So watch your, watch your talk, watch your siblings. Communication activity could cause some tower energy, which is destruction, dismantling, um, re restructuring everything, just taking it all over. So I'm, I'm a little distracted because Sebastian just came in the room and um, Pepper is up on the shelf over there. Sebastian, play nice. Sebastian, play nice, buddy. You want to come say hi to everybody on the camera? You want to come here, Sebastian? Hi, come here, Sebastian. Yeah, if you haven't seen Sebastian. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. 
so this is Sebastian. Hi. Yeah. Hi, buddy. You're a little wired right now, I can tell. You're a little wired. You want to come up here? This is where he... Oh, no, he's going to go. So that's Sebastian. Anyway, so distractions. Watch them. Moving on. Tomorrow, number nine, endings, transformation, completions. There's a tolerance energy there. Um, it's the number of perfections, but it's basically we're bringing things to an end, ready to start over again. Lenormand to go along with it. The whip. That's the card that fell out earlier, and I said I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so I love it because it was 11. It was 11 day. So the whip is about over and over and over, relentless, unrelenting. Um, it can be physical pain, you know, it can be chronic pain, fights, repetitions, arguments, it can be exercise, it can be sexual activities, um, activities over, over, over. And then terror to go along with it, oh, eight of swords. So tomorrow, eight of swords, swords, mental, logical, thought, speech, um, eight, again, number eight, um, you know, is that self-mastery number, business organization, but this eight of swords, she's trapped in her web. And with the 11, the whip from Lenormand, this is like you just writhe and you struggle over and over and over. And I would say tomorrow, be really careful of your thoughts. If you, can t if you find yourself obsessing over the same thing over and over and over, you need to bring it to an end and you have the power to do it with that nine energy tomorrow. You know, this could be what happens today with the bird in the tower. Like, oh my gosh, I said something, I screwed up. Somebody else screwed up. There's conflict. There's frustration. Things are dismantling. Then tomorrow you just mull it over and over and over and over and over, and it's just wreaking havoc on your emotional system, your physical system, spiritual system, everything. Stop it. Just stop it. So there you have it. There you have it. So thanks again. And like I said, check out my website, The Conflict Resolution Spread, 20% off. The code is June 2016. Um, all over my Facebook and Twitter page and stuff like that. You can see that. That's good through this month. So namaste. I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.